Good, good morning, guys. So it is Friday morning, October the 13th. I think it's Friday the 13th, guys. Scary stuff. And in October, I just realized that. Uh, I wasn't gonna weekend vlog, but I decided against it and thought, let me weekend vlog because I won't next weekend. And then my life is really gonna spiral after that. I have so much going on for my upcoming move to Spain. And I think mostly all of um, my viewers know, but I am gonna be doing my master's in Spain for a year next year. My program starts in January, so I have so much to plan, guys, like my apartment, my job, figuring all that out. I've been like working on like my job description and writing everything and seeing if we need to hire someone or like promote someone, hire someone else. I don't know. It's just a lot of a lot of tiny little details that are going into this that it's just a lot to deal with. But I wanted to show you guys this dress. My fall haul would have already gone up, but I wanted to show you guys this anyways. This is a really cute like little it's not really sweater. I don't know how to describe this material like I don't know if you can see, see it's like a jersey-ish dress, but I thought it would be so cute in the fall. Uh, I do have the large in this. The medium was like, I, I, I really wanted to wear the, be able to wear this to work. The medium was a little too short and this fit perfectly. And I'm wearing it with these Cole Haan booties that I've had for many years. <laughs> so that's what my outfit for work looks like today. And yeah, so it's been so hot. I said this in my fall haul, but it's been boiling hot guys. Like in the mid 80s with super high humidity. So literally like I, I just like did something to my hair because as soon as I step, step outside, it literally becomes a giant frizz ball. Express, they have such cute things right now. I will link my fall haul down below in case you guys missed that, but I love everything they have right now. Really good deals on stuff. I believe this was, this was $50 full price and I got it for 40% off. So such a good deal. And it's so cute and it comes in black too, so I'm a little tempted, but I really like these booties. Um, I've had them for about two years and they're such a good go-to. Oh, I think I got them last year. I think I got them last year. But Cole Haan did release some that look exactly like this this year, so I will link those down below in case you guys are looking for like a good high quality booty that isn't gonna be, you know, like $600 or above. These I believe are around the 250 mark and guys they're so durable and so nice like i and i like the look of these more than like the rag and bone ones i try i have tried those rag and bone booties on so many times and i just feel like they're not flattering and that they're not super comfortable so get you some kohan booties that's what my outfit looks like let's go to work so today i have an after work event that um is for this event that's happening tomorrow it's kind of like the pre-party so I'm looking forward to that and I'm just gonna go for a little bit my sister's really good friend is gonna be visiting her this weekend so we're gonna hang out I think tonight depending on how late she gets in and then also I think we have like a pretty long plan tomorrow going to like some breweries hanging out uh, going to dinner I think tomorrow night as well so but I don't know my sister Natalie is like it's so funny cuz she's so organized at work like so organized and so detail oriented but when it comes to like planning things she will be like I don't know what we're doing like we'll see where we go I don't know what time and for me I'm like I need to know a time like I need to like I, I would have had a reservation like two weeks in advance so I'm really like go with the flow like I don't mind if plans change I just like to have some sort of like outline of what the plan is gonna be hi friends so it's actually after work, um, had a pretty busy day. I actually didn't even leave for lunch and I feel like I look deformed. I don't know why I feel like I look really weird and like deformed, but that always happens when I film out here in my vanity and I like feel like I look really ugly. I don't know, whatever. I'm just touching up my makeup. Go to this event that's kind of like a party, but it's with all like people that I know from work. Um, not just like people that I work with, but people in the community. Maybe like one million people I know. <laughs> so I just added a little bit of eyeshadow because 
what I've been doing in the mornings is like I haven't been doing eyeshadow and getting ready really fast and just using a little bit of this um, NARS like contour color in my crease in my eye and I do it with like a, a really big contour fluffy brush and I just kind of like go like that actually I'll show you right now what I do because I'm gonna add a little bit more of that so this is the NARS duo in Olympia but it broke one day so the this used to have a yellow powder but I this is my favorite contour I love it so I just kind of like do that oh god all this is like falling And I just call it a day. I mean, now I have eyeshadow on my eye. I used, um, I did use this Chanel quad. That's a little old. It's this like, matte one that I really enjoy using that still, even though it's a little bit older. Just kind of touched up my foundation a little bit with the Hourglass foundation stick that I love in my beauty blender. And I'm gonna add some concealer. This is old. Uh, I use it like when I really need some brightening under the eye, which I do right now. So I'm going to take this oh, I'll just take this little contour brush by or I think this is a concealer brush by eco tools I really like this because it kind of like does the blending for you so I'm just kind of highlighting under the eye like so and there we go so kind of do that and then blend it in with my black beauty blender, which is the best. I've been using the Bobbi Brown trans the Bobbi Brown powder, sheer powder in pale yellow, but you're actually propped on that right now. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of this Laura Mercier translucent and just kind of bake. I don't I don't even bake, like just kind of do it, put the powder on, but if you use a damp beauty blender, it really makes that powder like set really well because I don't know, it just makes it look really good. And I'm sorry about this lighting, guys. It is pretty bad. Um, so I'm good like that, and I'm going to add a little bit of color underneath right here with this Burberry Pale Copper. No, almond, not pale copper. Just kind of do it under my eyes here to pop, make my eyes pop a little bit more. Daily highlight is this Dior one um, in 002, but it's more for the daytime. So at night I will use um, the Becca, Jaclyn Hill kind of like duo thing. And I usually do like a combo of those two highlights, which is Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop. So I just did a little bit of that. Uh, nothing too crazy because it's still kind of like a workish event, but I am going out and meeting my sister after so That's also why I'm getting extra ready. <laughs> I'll do a little bit of this NARS um, On my nose, which I don't I mean, I don't really think I need it, but I don't know. I think it does It adds something and then I'll contour a little bit the cheekbones and it just adds that little something something I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer which again is also pretty cool toned. Uh, I really like this bronzer a lot. This is such a good bronzer brush and I think you can still get it. It's the Chanel number no. two powder contour. Really like that a lot. Dior um, lip addict thing. Blush and I'm good to go. This is the Too Faced Baby Love. It's one of my favorite fall blushes. You can see I've hit pan. Haven't made the switch officially to like fall nail polish and uh, like fall everything else just cause it's still like pretty warm outside. So I haven't wanted to like make that transition yet, you know? And that is it. So. Oh, this lighting is so weird like there you go I look much better in like this lighting I don't know so it's like good fresh makeup nothing too crazy or weird or like I don't know I don't look like I'm wearing a costume right, guys so I want to show you guys what I am wearing can I I just said guys like seven times <laughs> but this is a lace top from Ann Taylor 
Um, I showed it in my recent fall haul. Again, I'll link that down below in case you guys missed that. That should have that should definitely be already up. So it has these little like kind of like I feel like black is so hard to show on camera, but these little like what do you call these? <laughs> I'm like losing my mind. Whatever you call these little hangy detail things, you can tie neckties. Um, has like this like cool little like detailing. I'm just wearing like a bralette underneath. AG jean leggings or whatever. I'm so glad I got them during the Nordstrom sale because they are so freaking cute and I love tucking stuff into them. They are like such beautiful denim. And I'm still wearing those booties uh, because I believe I have to like be on grass right now. So if I was just going like out meet my sister, I would wear like some dressier heels. I'm gonna do a quick return because I don't know if I'm just being like a penny pincher, but I realized that this one dress I got on Express that I bought at full price is now 40% off. So I'm gonna go exchange it and actually get it in the black too. So I'll show that to you guys later as well. So come along with me. It's Friday night. I just had some kombucha. It is horrendous. <laughs> but that's what I'm wearing guys. And I'm wearing my pochette Matisse. I just had some guava kombucha. Finish that. I'm gonna wear my pochette Matisse and then do this return. I feel like you can't see me but so I ended up making a return at H&M because if you watch my fall haul I showed this like v-neck sweater that I bought but when I looked at it again I was like this is really bad quality so I said that I like put that in the, the description video in the description section in the video because I returned it because I was kind of itchy and I realized I have like a nice Vince sweater that like I really don't need that sweater <laughs> so it was 20 bucks but I returned it because it's 20 dollars I'm not just gonna have it like hanging in my closet for no reason and then I, I went and exchanged my yellow dress and I saved like 20 bucks on it and rebought it and then I got the black version because it's so cute and then I got that white oversized sweater in the small because I really have been wanting like a big oversized sweater so I can wear with like leggings and just bum around and then I got that scarf too so I ended up paying 80 bucks for all of that stuff so I mean I had already paid for the other dress but you know what I mean like put that $20 to the rest of what I spent so yeah guys express is like killing it lately for some reason but I'm actually in the parking lot of the mall and the event is actually right around the corner but I've been scared like and having to be like really like aware of my surroundings because there's been like two like like robberies here lately and it's like the nicest mall in Charlotte and two women have been like robbed at gunpoint so really really scary and if you guys are in Charlotte make sure to watch out I mean I think no matter where you are like um it's really easy to be a target at malls especially because it's a, a lot of times women by themselves with shopping bags and like cards and cash and whatever it might be so be really careful guys and if you ever feel scared honestly I've done it a couple times and I like I've been followed in the mall before so if you feel unsafe like ask any of the security guards and they will take you to your car so it's better to be safe than sorry don't feel like you're like invincible people are scary out there and people do bad shit so just my my wise advice of the day but let's go to my little work event say this has become the dark car chronicles but this is a little bit better than earlier I just parked in my parking garage and I'm actually waiting on an uber because I'm gonna go meet my sister and her boyfriend and one of my sister's best friends Stephania is visiting from Atlanta this weekend so we're gonna go like um have dinner and maybe get a few drinks after depending on I don't know I don't think tonight is gonna be 
anything crazy, but I haven't eaten. So it's definitely time for some food because literally what I had for lunch, I had bulletproof coffee in the morning and then I had this like no carb sushi roll that I get from the grocery store and that's been it. And then I just had one scotch drink. So I don't drink scotch, but they were like the sponsors of the event. So that was like the only drink they had. And I was like, I guess I'll just have one of these. But yeah, scotch is, is not my drink of choice, <laughs> but I don't know what happened guys. My like fall haul, like uploaded randomly. It was set to private. Um, I'm not really sure what could have happened and then only like seven minutes of it uploaded. So I don't really know what happened with it. Um, I'm going to try to have it up on Monday. I just don't know what's wrong with my like processing system. Cause I have to like upload the, the, from iMovie, I have to put it on um, my desktop and then from the desktop is when I upload it to iTunes or iTunes to YouTube. So I need to figure out like where, what went wrong and I have a pretty busy day tomorrow. So hopefully I'll be able to figure it out um, today, but I'll keep you guys updated and let you know. I don't know why it just like shot up the video. YouTube is cuckoo sometimes. And if you guys are YouTubers, you know, like it, YouTube has a mind of its own, especially like recently, but yeah, so waiting on my Uber and I cannot wait to eat and like have a drink that I actually like. So it is Saturday morning. I've been up for a couple hours, but I literally just made coffee. It's already 11, but I just made some bulletproof coffee. Uh, I woke up like around seven this morning and then forced myself to go back to sleep because I like haven't really been sleeping well and I have a big weekend coming up lots of travel so I know if I don't keep up with like good sleep then I will get sick so I knock on wood haven't been sick since April so I really hope that I don't get sick with all this traveling coming up but I made some bulletproof coffee I don't usually have bulletproof coffee Saturdays and Sundays don't wake up as early and then I also like I don't know I feel like I We'll go to brunch or like lunch or I'll even go to breakfast or whatever on the weekends and have like eggs or whatever I want to have. And then I don't really like limit myself too, too much on the weekends today because I just uh, want to stay on track. I do have a wedding next weekend and I have to go get my dress altered. My hair is such a mess. I'm in a washer right now. I have to get my dress altered. I have to go to the alterations place right now. I'm gonna stop by um, this festival that uh, our radio station is gonna be a part of. And then I am gonna meet up with my sister and her friend Stefania and Natalie's boyfriend. And I think some of their friends, I invited some of my friends. I think we're gonna to go to some breweries um, in like South End area of Charlotte, which is like where all the breweries are. And hopefully have a fun dandy time. I don't know why I like have this weird rash right here and I like scratch it at night. I don't really know what it could be, but all you need is love. Oh, and coffee. I hold my cup, cup of coffee like this. Like I definitely should be holding it by the handle, but I don't for some reason. That's weird, right? I don't know, I've, I've, I've always done that. Like this is awkward for me to hold it like that. Like I literally always hold it like this. Alrighty guys, well, I haven't been able to figure out my vlog situation or my fall haul, so that might not be up until Monday, unfortunately. But there was like 120 people that watched it yesterday that watched it unedited and just bad and seven minutes of it, so I apologize if you were one of those people. But I'm gonna shower and get ready to take on this beautiful, gorgeous day. And I'm really excited that it's a little bit chillier, like wear a cute fall outfit. So I'll show you guys everything I do today. Pretty um, halo of color on her lid. It was just so beautiful. I'm watching some Lisa Lisa D, who I have watched, I think, since I first discovered YouTube. Um, I That's always an interesting thing is how did you guys discover YouTube? Because for me, it was... Um, I think I found Elle Fowler first and then I found Blair and then I think honestly it was Lisa Lisa D and then Makeup at Tiffany D and um that's it Dulce Candy and who else did I used to watch so many people <laughs> but that's kind of how I discovered YouTube but I I love Lisa I love her videos I find her so like 
therapeutic and relaxing. I, a lot of times I will watch those in the morning when I'm like doing my makeup or like making breakfast or making my coffee or making dinner because I just love, I find her voice like so soothing. <laughs> I actually already applied uh, the Sephora Airbrush Foundation, which is just such a good, good foundation. I know I talked about this like late last year. I think I maybe included it in my yearly favorites. I feel like that was such a long time ago, but like not really. And <laughs> my hair's all wet because I just showered. Um, but it's so good. However, I think I might take the plunge on the Sephora one on the Sephora one, on the Dior one when it's like the VIB sale uh, in November. So that, I don't know, I've heard that this one is really good but that the Dior one is like even a step above. I like haven't really gotten a lot of use out of guys. I mean, it's it's a beautiful palette, um, the Naked Heat. It's really pretty, it's very warm tone. I think it's actually really nice for this time of year. Um, I don't even remember when I got this but what I'm gonna do first is use this like low blow and do that like on my like actual lid and then I'll take sauced in the crease and I've been liking to do that too I've been more like into mattes lately for some reason like that look of like maybe like your eye just being like a little bit contoured in the past years I've gotten like away from being like obsessed with makeup like I was saying like I, I love makeup but like I've been more of like a clothes person and fashion person like within the last couple years feel like you can see my makeup better this way like without that crazy light I don't know why I have like a itchy itchy nose and I have to put all this clothes away hello I'm gonna do my hair but my hair is done I haven't straightened it in a really long time and I feel like it looks really long and really blonde and then I'm wearing a very casual outfit um, this is a long sweater by free people and I got it on sale so I'll link everything down below for you guys AG legging jeans I obviously you guys see that I wear them every day or <laughs> like I'm not wearing work clothes um, this is a t-shirt from oh, what's that brand halogen or something like that got three of them during the Nordstrom sale in white black and this and I love it and then I'm wearing these Mark Fisher tennis shoes, just something comfy because I know we'll be walking a lot and going to some of the breweries. But right now I'm gonna go to the alterations place, get my dress altered, stop by Nordstrom really quickly, stop by the festival, and then go to my sister's apartment. So I will bring you guys along. Guys, the Dark Chronicles, the Dark Car Chronicles with Pam is back. Um, again, like yesterday, I'm waiting for my Uber so I can go meet up with my sister and her friend Steph. It is 11-11, make a wish. I am making some brunch and I'm making some like sweet potato spirals with some onions and some grape tomatoes and then two eggs uh, and then I'm gonna have that with avocado. It was one of like my whole 30 go-tos and I'm excited to have it. But that egg exploded so I hate when that happens. <laughs> but this is so good guys and I love like the sweet potato spirals and they cook really fast too. So I'll show you what it all looks like when it's ready. Tell me that doesn't look so effing delicious. <laughs> but this is so filling too because there's like the good carbs, um, healthy fats, protein, some veggies. So you're getting a really good kind of like balanced meal. And it's delicious, guys. You should definitely try it out. Um, it's really easy to make. And I make this for dinner a lot of times as well. Getting ready to run some errands. I uh, have to do laundry and stuff when I come back. But... I am, I showered, I did a like that first aid beauty, it's like the five in one bouncy mask, I think that's what it's called. And it's so good, it like makes your skin feel like super radiant and like really plump and pretty and it kind of just like gives you like a pretty glow as well. Um, just gonna, I made a list of stuff I need, I need to go to, um, a grocery store probably Whole Foods I need to get like toilet paper um, 
else do I need to do? I might pop into Sephora just because I ran out of my um, L'Occitane uh, body oil that I use like almost every time I shower. And then what else? I don't know, my sister and, and Chris are around this area because they are at like Home Goods and stuff. So I might go and meet up with them. Actually, I am gonna go meet up with them right now. Um, my like lipstick is everywhere. I'm wearing this old like Tom Ford the lip color shines. I just used to be obsessed with Tom Ford. I literally haven't gotten anything Tom Ford in so long. The only thing I like constantly rebuy from his line is the double-ended eyeliner because it's like the best thing ever. But this is lip color shine in Nubile. I was like obsessed with it and it's still that same one. I mean, I don't think it's gone bad. Like these lip color shines last longer than his lipsticks. It smells perfect. It smells like vanilla still. So it's such a pretty like nude, but I don't know. I know they recently did like a price increase, so you can find really pretty nudes for like not $70 or however much this is or $60, $50, whatever it is. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to get a coffee and I cleaned a ton. My apartment looked super nice and clean. I did like some deep cleaning earlier, so... I just love that feeling. I like clean my bathroom, my kitchen, everything looks so nice, did dishes. Um, yeah, just like a, such a great Sunday so far. And I really like my makeup. I just use the Tarte Powder Foundation, which I really enjoy and it's so easy to use. So let me just show you like my really, really casual outfit. So this is just a little like sweatshirt thing from Target. I did get it recently right before I went to Mexico. So if I find it, I'll link it for you guys. The rest of the stuff is really old. I have some Lululemon. Uh, pants. I think these, you can still find these halogen, um, they're not halogen. Yes, halogen. Halogen, like little like snip, slip on sneakers. They're really cute. And then I just have like a random Aritzia t-shirt on underneath. So super cash. And what else am I going to show you guys? Um, oh, I want to show you guys this really cute jacket. I'll show it to you guys later. Oh, my Valentino's in there because I got this yesterday. I'll show that. And I showed you, I think I showed you everything I got at Express. Just that dress. I got that scarf. Um, this like big sweater so alrighty guys let's head out head out for a Sunday little day and yeah that's what my casual outfit looks like they just opened a Starbucks drive-thru oh my gosh I'm so excited this is very cool hey Natalie um can I get a grande iced Americano with a splash of coconut milk please Yes. Thanks. I think I like this. <laughs> you like made out with it. Oh, I like it. Carlos? Cactus. Oh. Great. This is the wallflowers I'm using for my kitchen now. Ooh. Yeah, it's for you. Candle form. For me. <laughs> Tea and lemon? First, like flannel. Yeah, flannel's really good. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it smells like too lemony. How about this? Interesting. I, I like it. But it smells like I feel like a person's house. Oh, I love this. Okay, how about this? <laughs> yeah, I like that one. I know. I love this spice. Coconut milk. Like Smells like goat cheese. <laughs> Ew! Oh, it, it does smell like goat cheese. We call goat cheese. Now I have it. Almond smells good, but it's like very tame. How about this? Ooh, I like that. What is that one? Spiced graham cracker. Ooh, I like it. Chris. It's good. I have that in my kitchen right now. Okay, let's do this. Is there ten dollars off? Pants. 
scare away. This is cool, this wine glass. Oh, I like the skull. I like all of this. Not ready for Christmas stuff. such a mess I look like a I don't know like a crazy person right now but I it's like four and I don't know why I'm like I'm gonna make dinner right now or like I'm just really hungry for some reason and I went to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods um, and I got some really yummy things what I'm gonna make for dinner is this cheese pizza with a cauliflower crust so yeah <laughs> um, I mean it's not horrible for you um, but it's better than regular pizza, right? <laughs> I think I'm gonna do some pesto on it and some olives and call it a day. Maybe some artichokes too. Ooh, my skin looks weird. Oh, my face looks weird. But yeah, starting with Trader Joe's. Um, oh, I got these olives at Whole Foods and I was eating them in the car because, hey, that's what my life is. Um, and then I got some olive tapenade. I haven't gotten this in so long because of the ingredients. Um, I like got excited when I was doing Whole30 and I was like, oh, I can have my favorite olive tapenade. Nope. It has a bunch of weird stuff in it. Um, here, I'll tell you what. Oh, it has canola oil. That's pretty bad. It has a lot of ingredients. However, it's freaking delicious. And I wanted to have it uh, because I'm like, I'm gonna treat myself to all this stuff today for some reason, but there you go. I was gonna get a halo top and I left it because I was like, this is enough. I got this um, kale, vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto for the pizza. So I'm gonna actually try that. Come out with some pretty good like vegan spreads. Not that I'm vegan, but they tend to have a lot better ingredients than you know, normal stuff that has shit in it. Um, this actually looks really good. The Siete ones, and I'll let you know how it is. I got them at Whole Foods. Okay. Mmm. Guys, that's really good. Like, really good. It's pretty good. Um, I'll try that in a second, like, fully. Got an avocado, two of my favorite beet chips, because I have run out of those, and they, like, are really good. Got some... Um, RX bars, one in chocolate sea salt, two in coconut chocolate, some Brussels, some garlic spread. I love this stuff. Um, some Parmigiano Reggiano because this is like really the only cheese I buy um, now because sometimes I'm just like I need something, especially like on top of like roasted veggies. I'm like I just need a little bit something cheesy. Uh, I got one of these Trilogy kombuchas. And then some pickles, some cornichons, some organic lemons, some le petit carotte for roasting, and this red lentil pasta. It's, I don't know, I've heard KG talk about making lentil pasta, so I'll make lentil pasta too, to be cool like her. I either get my wine there or at like Total Wine, um, Here's a Sauvignon Blanc. I really like that one. And then here's a The Pass Pinot Noir. I really like that one too. I got this um, Tempranillo from Rioja, prepped in for Madrid. And I got this Trader Joe's Merlot. They were doing samples and I tried it and she was like, it's $4.99 made with organic grapes. And I was like, is it like gonna get, give people a headache because it's $4.99? She's like, I promise it won't. It's like all organic and wonderful. So I'm gonna give this a try. $5 wine. I never buy $5 wine, but it was really good when I tried it. It was like really delicious. The Whole Foods, I got some La Croix, La Croix, and then here, oh, 
I got a bunch of waters just because I didn't have time to go to like Harris Teeter or something to get like actual bottled water and milk creamer from Khalifa. 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 And it's in pumpkin spice. Whole Foods, I got these. Uh, Grain-free tortilla chips by Siete. I have heard KG talk about these, Alice of Dallas, and also Vanessa from The Bombshell Suite put it on her Instagram lately too. And I messaged her and I was like, tell me I need them. She's like, you need them and you're probably gonna eat the whole bag. So we'll see. Oh, and of course, my inner basic bitch. I am really interested on trying it, but we'll see how it goes. Pumpkin Spice RX Bar. I got this little sesame ginger dressing. It's like a tahini, whole 30-ish thing. So we'll see. And last but not least, another one of the chips in the like regular version, not the um, not the lime. I didn't leave the store without this, even though I really don't need candles. And this is flannel. It smells so good, guys. Like I, Natalie and I were having like laugh attacks inside of Bath and Body Works, and we were causing a ruckus. So. So yeah, that is it. Hello guys, good morning. So I've been like getting ready because I'm gonna go to Raleigh today, which is like a two and a half hour drive to go uh, for something for my student visa tomorrow in the morning. So I am like packing and I'm gonna go to the office for a little bit, but I wanted to show you guys um, this really cute coat I got at Nordstrom the other day. It has pockets and I'm literally wearing it with like the worst outfit right now, like super casual. But it is so cute, guys, like so flattering. I'm wearing the medium. It runs like big, I would say. Um, it is by Leaf and it is um, $99. But guys, it feels so good on. I know I'm gonna get so much use out of this in the fall time and next year in Madrid. I just thought it was like something really cute to like throw on and the material is like kind of like sweater but I don't know it's definitely like not super structured so I really like this and I actually ordered something kind of similar in gray from H&M so whenever I get that in I'll show you guys as well but that's what it looks like it's so cute I love it it's such a good deal um, I think for the quality of it I don't know I just think it looks I don't know, I think it looks more than $100. I think it's really cute, but I think this would look really cute with like some dresses and booties or just even layered over like leather leggings and a blouse. I'm gonna bring this to Chicago next weekend, so really like it. Notarized at my office. Probably be there for like a couple hours and then drive to Raleigh, uh, but I'm just wearing something really casual because I'm gonna be driving. So this sweater, I got it Express, I showed it to you guys, and it looks like better with like, I think this outfit that I'm wearing than the other day, cause I was wearing like, I forgot what I was wearing. But it's so cute guys, like I literally am obsessed with Express right now. Like words I never would have thought would come out of my mouth. <laughs> I don't know, I used to shop there a ton when I was younger, but I just feel like the style like in the past years hasn't really been me. And I just love everything, it's so cute, it's like, really good quality like i don't know i love this this is the small so um these are really really big i think I, I know um emily Gemma from the sweetest thing posted this sweater so i when i looked online the other day it was only in like in the medium and large or large and extra large so you might have better luck finding this in store i'll link it and if i can find it um in this information box down below but if not, um, check your local store and it comes in different colors too. So a really good deal. I really, really like this. It was, um, I think 50 or 60 minus 40% off. So such a good deal. It's really cute. I'm just wearing some Lululemon leggings. I am wearing this um, shirt I showed in my fall haul, the Liberté shirt from Banana Republic and these halogen um, little sneakers. So comfy, cozy outfit for my little road trip. Um, all right, so I have just like some laundry drying, more express stuff. I'm just taking this and this, my laptop, and let's head on over. I got this wallflower, how cute is that? Yesterday, um, and then that in there I have autumn, the autumn wallflower, I really like that. Hey guys, so I just made it to my hotel in Raleigh, and I've never stayed here before, it's the AC Hotel. Um, it, it's like a brand new hotel here in Raleigh, but 
I don't know, I guess they have a bunch of other ones. I don't, I, ignore my appearance, I'm a hot mess right now, but I'll give you a little hotel room tour because it's like pretty cool. You just go in right here and then the first thing I saw was this. It's like, I mean, I have all my stuff there right now, but um, this like vanity or whatever and this is out here in the open, which is kind of interesting. And then there's some like waters and stuff in there, closet if you need to do your, um, what do you call that? Ironing, <laughs> why can't I speak? Uh, what else? What else, what else, what else? Um, toilet, shower. So just looking, oh yeah, cause I was gonna think what if, what if you're like here with like Someone you don't want to see you naked. There you go. I'm not sure if I like this whole separated thing, but it's a pretty cool concept. Uh, a little chair, bed, television, desk, my luggage there. And yeah, so I'm like right outside of Raleigh in North Hills. My cousin actually used to live right across the street from here. And that's how I like knew this area or found, found this area because if you guys have ever been to like Raleigh Raleigh, it's like really ugly and there's no hotels there. Um, yeah, so there's, what is that? It looks really cute. This is the maroon and Taylor sweater I showed you guys in the fall haul, AG jeans. These are Sam Edelman flats. I forgot to talk about these. I just like haven't talked about shoes lately, but um, these are Sam Edelman flats and they're really cute. So that's what I'm wearing. I'm drinking this black coffee, chameleon cold brew water, 